Hey everybody, Jason here again with GDT Basics and the video question line. Today's topic is reverse inspections of orientation. So the question submitted was, I'm trying to check the parallelism of the surface of a part in relation to datum A. Is it acceptable to locate off the surface of the part and then indicate on the datum A itself? So let's take a look at what this question is asking. So a traditional parallelism inspection might look something like this for this feature right here. Again, we're controlling this top surface to a tolerance zone of two parallel planes spaced apart 10 thousandths of an inch. So we're ensuring that this surface is between these two planes. Again, they have a distance between each other of 10 thousandths. Those planes can exist up here or down here. We are not controlling location, right? Uh, we're only controlling orientation. But the added benefit of controlling parallelism of a surface is we also get to control the flatness or form error of that surface. So the surface can look something like this, or it can look something like this. There's some level of form and orientation that's happening on this surface simultaneously. And we go inspect it, our inspection will give us a value that represents the combined effects of form as well as orientation. Uh, they will exist simultaneously together. So we'll go ahead and indicate, uh, we'll simulate datum feature A by setting the, the part in question on the datum feature A, simulating a flat planar datum. Uh, and then we go ahead and indicate off of this surface here. And we drag that indicator across that surface in all directions. And the total indicated reading across that entire surface is going to be our parallelism error. And so if this area over here was a little bit low and this area over here is a little bit high, the difference between these two with respect to our inspection plane is going to be our parallelism error, as well as any form error between them. So the question was, can I reverse that and put this surface on the granite table and then indicate off of this surface and check parallelism this way? And the short answer is no. And I'll show you why with a couple of examples. Here we have a part that has clearly some parallelism error, right? And if this tolerance zone is what we're calling our 10 thou tolerance zone, we can see that the parallelism of this top surface with respect to the bottom surface is right at the limit of being uh, inside our tolerance, right? We are within our tolerance zone, just barely though. Now, if I rotate this part, right, and I can move the tolerance zone up to capture the surface, uh, what you'll notice though is now the orientation and then now the size or how far this surface goes from here to here is going to allow or show more orientation error than the smaller surface did. We're trying to contain more surface inside this tolerance zone than we did when we were trying to contain this surface. So the pure orientation error in this example uh, will not be the same effect as though we were inspecting it uh, the way the feature control frame told us. So we would unnecessarily end up rejecting this part if we did inspect by simulating the datum down here on the feature we were checking and then indicating off of the datum surface. Uh, this would tell us that we have more parallelism error than we actually did on this surface with respect to this surface. So you can see here, this is one instance where we would definitely um, not want to inspect this part because we would be rejecting a good part. A little bit more realistic is you can see that we are controlling the form as well. Uh, we might have good uh, orientation error. So again, simulating datum A down here. This is datum feature A. Um, something else will control the flatness of datum feature A, hopefully. Um, but we are simulating datum A off of its high points. And then we go ahead and check the lowest to highest points. And as long as the form and orientation of that top surface or the total indicator reading as we drag an indicator across that top surface is less than our tolerance value, this is good parallelism. But again, as per the question, if I were to simulate off the top surface and then indicate on the datum surface, we would see that um, from this point to this point, we might have good orientation error, but there's a form error that would actually indicate our, our highest to lowest would be from here to here. And that would give us a uh, false reading saying this is a bad part, when in reality, I just showed you in the previous slide, this was actually a good orientation. Um, it's the form of the datum feature that was interfering with our final inspection here, saying, no, this is a bad uh, inspection. You should reject this part, uh, even though it was a good part. So again, just showing you a couple scenarios here where if you did 
um, deviate from what the feature control frame was telling us as far as inspection criteria, uh, being that we should simulate datum feature A on a granite table and then indicate off of the uh, tolerance surface. Uh, if we deviate from that, we will get incorrect results. So short answer to the question is no, you cannot uh, reverse the inspection. You cannot um, locate off the surface of the part and then indicate off datum A. This is not the same uh, inspection. It'll give you false results. So hopefully that helps clarify things for you. And thanks again for tuning in. Our goal is to be your best source for GDT information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand GDT on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our GDT community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our GDT and print reading quizzes, download helpful charts, and access articles written by training experts.